full metal hell here. We got something that showed up on the doorstep today. I uh, think I know what this one is, only for one simple fact. <laughs> it came with a little free gift. <laughs> and uh came with this little chain, actually, uh, which is kind of attached to the top. I pulled it off. Uh, it's uh, a <laughs> little bracelet. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's silver uh, plated, but, you know, it's pretty heavy. It's got a little, uh, you know, weight to it. And I know the only thing that uh, this could be, just because of this, is my K-Dang Sky Warrior. So we're going to go ahead and bust this guy up and pull out an old silver bullet and... Right, we're gonna go ahead and see what we got here, folks. Kind of excited about this one, you know, because uh, I watched a couple of videos actually. Let me make sure that's what this is first before I start talking about it. Though. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny if it wasn't. Uh, oh yes, it is. It sure is. All right. Uh, yeah. Actually, I watched a couple of videos on this, and I'll tell you what. The only person that has like. Some good videos on this quadcopter right here is uh quadcopter 101 did like two or three videos i think two uh but you know what he never actually pulled the body off of this one you know he never actually pulled this little this top right here is uh it's like a lexon body that comes off so i'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys i'm gonna show you what you know everybody wants to see i'm gonna i'm also gonna compare this side by side to the sima x8 you know, for a little size comparison, you know, these are all things I think that are important that a lot of people don't seem to include in, in their videos. You know, a lot of these guys have, you know, all this fancy editing stuff. They got these great beginnings and these great endings to their videos and these little watermarks. I'm not that great at uh, video editing, as you guys can tell, because in the corner of all my videos, it says uh, power director. <laughs> so, you know, I'm using like the mobile power director, not even the full, I mean, the full power director, <laughs> so, you know, my videos are what they are, but you know what, they're real, and you know what, and you know what, those guys' videos are lacking personality, they have absolutely no personality, it's like watching, uh, the nightly news, uh, and I'll tell you something else, there's, uh, there's only a handful of videos on this quadcopter, not a lot of people have gotten, there's a, a guy called Mark Comp, drone and there's another one called b1 hobbies you know and, then, and i swear watching those videos is like watching a mime <laughs> do a quadcopter review it's like you know it's like <laughs> it's like you know should i be throwing them quarters or dollar bills or something i mean uh <laughs> you know what i mean it's like wow you know say something those are two of the videos i've seen there's a guy that did uh there's a guy that actually is doing a couple of videos, actually has quite a few videos of this, but he's just kind of learned how to fly, which is cool, but I think he picked the wrong quadcopter to learn how to fly on, ooh-wee, uh, <laughs> but I think he lives out in the country, which is a good thing, so, you know, he's not going to hurt anybody, you know, except maybe himself, but, uh, he's a pretty cool guy, it's, uh, everything new under the sun, uh, you know, he has quite a few subscribers, too, actually, uh, but this was like his first quadcopter. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> anyway, right here it says, works with the GoPro Hero camera. So that's pretty cool. But honestly, do you want to put a $400 camera on a $80, $90 quadcopter? Uh, this was a very good price, actually. This was less than $100, folks, by the way. Uh, and I don't have the FPV version. I have the C version. Uh, the front. K70 Sky, basically, it's an HD camera, 6-axis six six gyroscope, 3D flips and rolls, 1-press auto, medic return, 1-key return, CF mode, uh, I guess that's headless mode, uh, and 2.4 vision positioning altitude. Right uh, here. Right, we'll go ahead and open this up. Wow. Wow, y'all. That is a big box. It sure is. Matter of fact, I gotta stand up. It's so big. So I get up over this thing. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the controller, which, by the way, this controller looks exactly like the controller that I already have. Uh, matter of fact, I think it is exactly the same controller. Down. 
For this quadcopter right here, the K61, which is also a Kaidang quadcopter. That quadcopter right there came with... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you like that? 3D. Uh, <laughs> yes, we do 3D special effects in my video, folks. Uh, anyway, this is the Kaidang K61 uh, FPV quadcopter controller. Now... The only difference I see between these two controllers, which is odd, is that the screen is really big on this one and not so big on this one. That's weird. Hmm. So, uh, all the buttons are exactly the same, though. And I'm going to see if this controller will work on this quadcopter if they're both the same. Because the K61 camera is, is linked to this monitor. Uh, it, too, has the adjustable... Uh, you know, tilting lens, you know, that you can control from the controller, which this also, I believe, does too. This has the much larger camera, but, uh, it has a, it has like a gimbal that actually adjusts the whole camera instead of just the lens, but this might actually work on this quadcopter. We're going to see, and we're going to see if we can do FPV with this, with this control. This charger... This charger right here looks exactly like this charger right here. <laughs> this charger came with a WL Toys uh, 118th scale RC buggy, which is pretty neat, I thought. Uh, interesting. That Kaidang and WL Toys got the same charger. Uh, this has the... Uh, <laughs> ooh, wait. Okay. Now, that's not good. I don't see an American adapter in here anyway. We will look. I'll pull this foam out. It might be on the bottom, but this is the European adapter end. Uh, it doesn't matter, though, because I have this for, like I said, my WL Toys that has the American end on there, if that's what I was going to use to charge it. But I have a hobby-grade charger, so that's not what I'm going to be using to charge it. But for you guys that don't have one, that could be a negative. Uh, all right, we're going to see here. we got the booklet. The instruction manual, which is, let's see, see how the English is on this thing. Not too bad, not too bad, actually, looking how the props go on. They're a little different than the Sima X8, actually, a little bit different. This is a full set of the extra props, four props. Uh, these are, they look, they're the same size as the Sima X8 props, actually. It's just, this part's different. It has this elongated uh, part here. The motors might be. But that might be the only thing that's the same. Uh, what else we got here? Go ahead and flip through here real quick. This is for the FPV model. Actually, and you and you see that monitor right there? That's the exact monitor that came with the K61 that I have on my other controller. So that might be a good thing, actually. Huh? Might be able to use my other camera, actually, to do FPV. Uh, what else? Okay, parts list. Actually, it does have a parts list, which is good. That's actually a positive. Uh... All right. Whether they're available or not, that might be another thing. But there is a parts list, and they do how, and they do actually uh, show all the parts. Let's go ahead and pull out the got the landing gears. Got two landing gears. Uh, I'll go ahead and leave this one in here, but you guys take my word on it. I'm sure. Uh, got two two landing gears, which, as you can see, they look like they're round tubes from this direction, but they're not, uh, I was, so that's the landing gear, I know you guys are like, would you pull out the quadcopter, please, all right, we have four of the absolutely useless prop guards, but, I mean, I shouldn't say they're absolutely useless, if you're a newbie, uh, you know, these are cool, you know, these are good to have, actually, uh, go ahead and pull the camera out, that's a little tricky now, okay, guys, when you order this thing here, you gotta be really careful trying to get this camera out of here, some reason it's really 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 tight and you don't want to just pull it from here because that's your actual your gimbal which is uh all right ooh wee okay that is tight <laughs> that's real tight y'all uh all right so this is the camera which actually has a a lens which is pretty neat you know just like one of the first uh toy grade cameras that actually have like a lens a for real lens uh has a jello mount, uh, dampening, vibration, 
balls <laughs> is what I call them, but, uh, you know, somebody gave me crap about saying that, but, uh, the anti-vibration mounts, okay, to be politically correct, uh, okay, uh, this actually plugs into the bottom, the quadcopter has a little, neat little, uh, plug right there, and this is adjustable from the controller, and this has a couple of screws, and you can actually pull this camera out, and put, uh, I actually have a SJ cam that I'm gonna try to stick in here, yeah, the zombie cam fits in here too, I'm gonna see if my SJ cam does as well, which is actually a pretty nice one, I don't feel like pulling it out this little bag, uh, 4 gigabyte memory card, which is nice. That's nice. Not a 2 gig, a 4 gig. Alright. Now look at that thing, folks. Look at that. Matter of fact, that is a sharp looking quadcopter, y'all. I'll tell you what, I like the way this thing looks. You know? I really do. As you can see, these arms are hollow. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but the lights shine through these arms. Uh, that is a unique looking design. Uh, the battery, actually there's a, let me go ahead and, and open this little bag because there's a screwdriver I'm going to need to open this battery door. There is two more little baggies I forgot here too. These are the little rubber feet things that go over the end of the, on the end of here. They actually fit on the end of this. They're just like a little soft uh, rubber. Uh, it comes with your little screws for, I guess, putting your landing gear on and et cetera, camera and stuff. And another little screwdriver, which actually I'm going to use right now. Thank you. All right. Go ahead and pull this door open for you guys. I, I did get the screw out. It was a little bit of a hassle to get that thing out. I will not be putting that back in, by the way. Because uh, this door actually does fit up pretty tight, too, you know. That's not going to fall off, so we'll be putting that screw back in. Yeah, so this is what the plug is. This is actually uh, the same plug that's on the Sima X8, like originally when you get it. I want to show you guys. It is a 2000 milliamp, uh, 25C tube cell, but this is an odd size battery, so I want to show you guys something, actually. I want to show you, we're going to put these in order of size, actually. <laughs> All right, so this, if you guys can see, is this is the JJRC X1 battery, okay? This is the tarantula battery, which is just a hair longer. Now, this is bigger than the tarantula battery, okay? This is the stock battery for this quadcopter, okay? And then this is the Sima X8 battery. And these two batteries are 2,000 milliamps. These are both 1,200 milliamps. They both got the same ends, okay? But as you can see, the Simon one's a much longer battery. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Let's see if the Simon one will fit in here. I know this one fits in here. That's the one for it. But let's see if this one does. Just out of curiosity. That's odd that they have this the way they have this. No, it won't fit in there. So, huh. Well, you might have to strap that guy to the bottom or something, you know? You know, I do that with a lot of my uh, quadcopters. Matter of fact, I'll run this battery on my tarantula that, that that doesn't even come close to fitting in the battery compartment. I just strap it on the bottom. But and I want to show you the size comparison between this quadcopter and the Sima X8. All right. There you go. Put the arms together if we can get these blades straightened out. Okay, now the arms are together. Now you see how much longer the Kaidang is? It's about an inch, two inches longer, okay? It's also about an inch or two inches wider. So this quadcopter is bigger than the X8 Sima. I want to show you guys the inside of this quadcopter. Actually, then we're going to end this uh, unboxing. And uh actually want to do something that nobody else has done for you. Size comparison between the Sima X8 and this quadcopter, which nobody seems to have done for some odd, strange reason. I have no idea why. Uh, you know? Okay. And I want to show you what this quad looks like with these little body clips off of here. Okay? It has three little body clips like an RC car. I don't know if you guys can 
don't know if you guys can see that. I'll go ahead and try to stick it up up to the camera. Okay, it's a little body clip. Okay, just like an RC car. It's got three of them. I'll tell you what, though. You need like a pair of pliers or, you know, needle nose or something to get these off. And uh, I just want to show you what nobody else has shown you guys for some reason. I don't know why Quadcopter 101 or none of these other guys, you know. I mean, there's not a lot of videos on this, granted. But still, somebody should have showed you what this looks like with this off. Because this is like a Lexon RC car body, which I think is really cool. That is really a neat-looking design. It looks a lot like that... Uh, XK, it's a 500 size uh, quadcopter. Actually, this looks very similar to that. The same kind of like shape and design almost. Uh, all right, and this is what it looks like without the body on it that nobody else has shown you except for me. <laughs> full, seen it first at Full Metal Hilly. All right, uh, this is like it has an aluminum little frame actually that kind of holds all the arms in place. It's Looks kind of thin. I mean, I wouldn't say it was probably real, real strong, but it seems pretty, I mean, I'm, you know, I mean, it seems pretty stout, you know. I don't know if I would suggest this as a, you know, just, you know, learning how to fly quadcopter. This is not something that I would suggest for a newcomer. Uh, <laughs> this is for the experienced guy that is, you know, been flying for a while and kind of ready to step it up to something a little bigger. Uh, but... Definitely not for a newbie. Uh, <laughs> this thing looks cool at, at nighttime, too. It's got some really funny, cool uh, lights that shine through these arms. And we will have an upcoming flight video on this, uh, you know, explaining the ins and outs of this quadcopter. Uh, oh, something else before I forget. When you pull this top off, make sure you don't lose your little button here because this little button just kind of sits on top of here. It uh, fits in. There's like a little square in the bottom. It just kind of fits in there and just fits. And this is cool. You know, it's actually a push button. It's not a switch. It's a push button. Uh, this is neat, though. You you know, your motors all plug in. You know, you can get to to your lights. You know, if you want to change a light or a motor. Uh, you know, your board's right here. That's nice. That's actually pretty cool. I think that's really neat, folks. Uh, actually, that's a cool looking design, isn't that cool? I think that's a really neat looking design. <laughs> I am excited to fly this thing. I can't wait to get it out there for you guys. You know, just all in all, this is a really neat thing, man. And uh can't wait to get it out there for you guys. Uh hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. Peace. Uh